In today's five minute tutorial, we're gonna be showing you how to make the Kenwood Hello Kitty Radio Portable Wii, a classic easy beginner's project that requires only a few household items that you have lying around. The first of which being a Kenwood MDX E3. You can find these either in your basement or in your cool older brother's room. They go for pretty cheap if you don't have one, not a big deal. Next, a Wii console that you've somewhat painted pink with a remote of the same matching pink color. An entire soldering iron kit and the skill set needed to use it. Just make sure you know how to do it and have done it before. It's like I always say with these tutorials, never try something new that you haven't done before. A monitor with appropriate power and a housing case. Oversized file, uh, half of a shish kebab stick. And what this will end up being is not even a radio at all, but rather a Wii with a pop-up screen sensor bar built into this front housing that plays through speakers and is not battery powered. Very few people have batteries lying around, so I figured I'd skip that step and make something a little more conventional. Again, this is like an easy startup project. Now here at Geek Squad, we're sick of waiting and are gonna jump right in. So the first step you need to do, and I actually already did this, is take the disk drive out of the Kenwood. I was simply using this box to hold the top up and try and trick people into thinking it was still put together. Now, I actually stole this, pop everything out. If you ever built a computer, it's a lot like that, but the exact opposite. These are weights that they put in just to make the thing feel higher quality, so of course we'll be removing those. It's neat opening this up and, and taking things out though, because there's just so many random parts you wouldn't expect, like somebody just randomly shoved a toilet paper roll in here. There's a whole film reel for playing old, like, 10 millimeter film. Let's pop out all these useless parts. After absolutely completely demolishing everything, we gotta do a little bit of a repair job on this inner speaker. As you can see, it's missing a little peg there that broke off. Someone probably just bashed this in from the outside. We're just gonna fix that up real quick and make it look just like new. All right, so I broke more of it off. It's very, uh, it's very brittle plastic, believe it or not. Gosh, I'm just gonna keep breaking it. Holy cow, and now I don't even know how all the pieces go to put it back together. So we're gonna leave it like that and hope nobody notices. Now you wanna make sure that you have access to the disk drive and the buttons. Yes, so we're gonna have to cut a hole in the back. I do wanna thank Target for sponsoring this video. With Target's extended service plan, your plan, service plan is extended. So we're just gonna slice this bad baby wide open. Sorry, just one second. I had to uh, de-robe before I answered the door. Not totally, I mean like just the, the jumpsuit part. Um, not because of any kind of like shame or the fact that I'm not actually a worker, that anything like that, but mostly just because I think it's polite. You just don't answer the door in your, in your work attire. Also when working with any kind of hot device like this, make sure you drink a lot of water so that your body doesn't become really dry and, and possibly flammable because of it. You don't want any kind of accidents. Just perfectly like so. Just swipe all the little plastic chunks on the ground where they just disappear and you never have to worry about them again. Now another one, and this one will be a little more difficult, is gonna be the sensor bar, which is pretty important for a lot of Wii games. As we pop this dude open, as you can see, LEDs here, LEDs here, that's all it is. We just need to poke a few little holes in a few specific spots. For the LEDs to stick out, that is what this soldering iron is for. It's just a little hole poker. All right, holes are done. They actually look very solid. And now we can take and the LEDs just fit perfectly like that. Sensor bar is in place. Buttons are all back in place. Space Jam doesn't take place in space. Next thing I wanna focus on before we get into the speakers and the ventilation, I wanna get the top screen all set and ready. This is the old lid. We're taking this top plate like this. This will be the new lid. New lid goes on, pops up like this. Screen, screen, play Wii. Let's poke holes there. With the old soldering iron, you can see it's getting all revved up. Ready to go. It's just like in uh, 
in the Western films when they shoot the guns off and they're smoking and they're all just like a lot like that I thought. So we're gonna put the screen inside this thing. It's got this little hole for the little wire that goes in the that powers the little screen. It's a little control panel. So we're gonna put a little hot glue for a little stability. It's a little funny. Now just because I'm doing a little bit of wire extending does not mean this isn't still like a little baby starter project for little poopy stinkies. Trust me I've seen a lot of poopy stinky big baby no skill havers <sighs> do some of this stuff. I mean, in reality, the only hard part is remembering if the, the red wire connects to the black wire or if the black wire connects to the black wire. If anyone who's colorblind has troubles with this part, I'll have a little, uh, I'll have an interpreter pop up on screen now doing some, some sign language and they'll be able to guide you through the process. I do want to do a little reenactment here of a possible scenario you could run into that I, I didn't happen to. Oh no, I put the red wire on the black wire. I mixed them up. Has this ever happened to you? And then the solution pops up here. You're stupid, there's no solution. Oh gosh, the black plastic that I just cut smells really good. It's like if you go into a drugstore. And I just realized how it sounds, but more like, I mean like the toy aisle and stuff, because they've got all these cheap, like, plastics that aren't even completely dry, you know. And here's what our screen looks like. Buttons work. It's pretty solid, not gonna lie. I think it, I think it actually looks pretty darn good. Okay. Alright, I was just up in the ceiling to get one of these little housings, uh, plastic thing. I'm gonna put it kind of like this. Put this over it. When I was cutting the little housing for this, I actually flicked a little bit of hot molten plastic up onto my lip right here. And it's not stuck there. There's like a blood blister there now, which is really nice. Before everybody just goes like, but I am gonna stop it. It's an injury and now you're ableist. So you're done, you're canceled. All right, the hinge is in place. I mean, that looks factory to me. Oh my gosh. All right, so far. With this easy beginner craft, I have burned this finger really bad, cut this finger really bad. Something's gonna be on my lip and tomorrow it's gonna be five times the size. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, I sure don't care. All right, there are two more plastic fabrication things we need to do and then we can do the right, the right, 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 right. All things will get power from this. And I whipped myself in the foot really hard with a cable. That's the fifth injury. Okay, this needs to be mounted on the power button. So we're gonna cut a hole. Everyone's got one of these. Uh, and everyone knows what it's called because I can't think of it. Bing, 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 bing. We're going to just attach this thing to it. And here we have a power button. Where's my little thingy? Where are you at, buddy? Little thingy. There he is, right here. This thing here. Glue onto this. Well, that's drying. I want to divert your attention over here to the speakers. Now, what I would love, which one's the right and which one's the left? That's, a, that's the question here. Why don't they say on them? She's got to do some sound tests to figure that out. So I feel like this is kind of important. Let's put on my favorite song right real quick. This is the right, this is the left. This one will go in here, this one will go in here. That will be the next fabrication. Now seeing as those are important parts of the process that you might need to kind of see how they're done, I'm gonna just cut everything and do it off camera and come back when all the plastic's cut and save my recording time and what little time I have left on my SD cards for like more funny humor jokes and stuff. Here's one actually, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I got this pair of like nerd glasses because this is some nerd stuff. This is some stupid, uh, uh, stupid geek things. Plugging and wiring. Ha! 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 Oh, we are back. Oh man. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big stupid nerd guy with glasses. I, um, I'm sorry. 
pretty much all the fabrication is done. If I hold the speaker in place, you can see I've cleaned up a lot of these holes. They're a little bit smoother. There's still some cleanup yet to be done once it's all assembled, but it's about time to start just shoving all the components in there, putting it all together. Still got this thing on my lip. I have another cut now, it's right here. Uh, all of these injuries also, it should be noted, all these injuries are actually from things that don't normally happen. It's not like I'm hitting myself with a Dremel because I'm being unsafe. It's like plastic flies up and then a robber comes in and gashes me against the back of the head. Oh wait, okay. I have another thing I have to cut. Sorry, I'll be one minute. All right, all fabrication is now done. So let's get to it. Wee! Power brick, that bad boy in here. Close this whole thing up. Plug in the sensor bar. The cord length for this won't be very long. Now, if you make your own, you don't have to take the little warning stickers on the plug off. Sometimes they're good to, like if you're sitting down eating a bowl of cereal and you got nothing to watch on your phone, maybe you'll just read, read the little warnings on it if it's sitting in front of you sort of thing. Could happen, I mean. As long as you're nice and pretty on the outside, it doesn't matter if the inside is this big jumble of disgustingness, but I'm gonna do a little cable management, right? Like, so for the next step, you're gonna go and get a plastic storage container lid from your basement and cut out a cube. This is the only part where you really, maybe this isn't as easy as some of the other fabrication stuff because you really gotta be like a super strong muscle guy with like, like 200 pounds anabolic bioweapon sort of thing. Eh. That might not be everyone though, that's the thing. Let's throw some glue on these bad boys. All right, now we can slide this dude in place. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh, perfectly. so cool. This is like some Pimp My Ride stuff right here. Do a little showcase for you guys real quick. So handle, functional, got this console sticking out the back. I like the white accent actually. If the whole thing was pink, because the pinks are two different colors, like this one's a little faded, you know, it might, might clash a little. It doesn't have a very long cord, but you can get extensions from your local Walmart, specifically made for this. They, one end plugs into here, the other plugs into the wall. Uh, might not have to be a Hello Kitty specific one, but they're definitely out there. Got the two sensor bar things. I'm really curious to whether or not they actually work. This is the uh, speaker audio, overall power button, and of course that magical, magical screen, which if this thing doesn't work, we're doomed. But after you've done this for the seventh time, it gets pretty easy, you know. Let's take this over the testing grounds and give it a whirl. These will be the testing grounds. All right, here at the testing grounds. Now, anytime we test a new Wii device, uh, we use the standard Kokotka Magic Circus. You just need a Wii remote, and it's a, it's a pretty like high graphics. Like It'll really push the console, make sure the ventilation's all good. Push the power button, and we should see the screen light up. Yes, and will you show me what's on the Wii? Please, I'm begging you. All right, so I found out what the problem was. What ended up being the case is that whoever made this TV, there's a white and a yellow plug that go into the TV. Any sane person would tell you one is for audio and one is for video. Turns out they're both for video, they're just different inputs. And it was, it just took things through the white one, not the yellow one. Here at Geek Squad, we've never experienced such stupidity in our entire lives. The big thing I'm really curious about is whether or not the sensor bar works. Uh, yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> this is so stupid, none of this should work. Kokotka. Ooh, listen to that. Oh, that's that high quality soundtrack though on a Kenwood stereo system, I like that. That's so loud. Everyone knows this one, this classic Kokotka tune. Uh, go with Nero because this uh, this one actually allows you to skip half the game, but you have to click on it upside down with the Wii remote. 
Might as well go hard. Like this game, this game goes hard. I watch this cutscene every time I play it. We're gonna see if, uh, if I'm at, a, at all a detriment or maybe an advantage with this impressive Kenwood stereo system. Oh, I'm shooting the... Mission completed in record time, it says. This has been an outrageously overwhelming success, as have been the past 17 of these exact thing that I've built that I make a tutorial, because I've done it plenty of times. So I figured we should probably make a Hello Kitty Me. Like if this was really sold in stores, it would probably come prepackaged with a Hello Kitty Me built into it. I actually got this Wii U stuff eBay. I want to see. Matt's Babe. Okay. Hardy 66. Frickles. I like that one. Frickles. Wait, what save? I wonder if they have save data, because they didn't wipe this thing. Neopets. All right, I'll give you that. That's, that's probably pretty, pretty based. Chicken Shoot. Had this one growing up, gotta say. I give you props for that. Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Star Wars, Smash Bros, Mario Galaxy. Well, these guys were awesome. Metroid Prime 3. I haven't even got to play that. Wii Sports, Wii Play. All right, whoever, bought, whoever sold me this Wii, you the, you the boss. The bow is about this size. It's supposed to be right here, but we'll just leave it there. Because that kind of works. Oh boy. Jello Cutty is pretty close, and I'm not going to try and fix it. Me Creator. I mean, I, I go by Alan on occasion. The Hello Kitty We with the Hello Kitty Me. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I have to Hello Kitty P. Possibly my most successful project ever. If I pull up to the party with this thing, are people just gonna start handing me their 401ks? More than likely. It'd be twice as loud if this other speaker was working. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Bonk. <laughs>